Barbie, this is what happens when you go down the slip and slide after Obama. Now you're Tony the Tiger. What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and before we start with today's episode I had to show you guys this this is absolutely hilarious I just booted up the game and the game starts paused so I kept it paused started up my recording came back and I was doing my intro and kind of realized that every single family member is doing exactly what you would expect of them. I, I couldn't even believe it. So I'm going to give you guys a second. You can pause the video. Just take a second and think. What would every character in our story be doing right now? You got it? Okay, because you're not going to believe this right now. We have Winston, who is currently cleaning. We have Tommy, who is currently relaxing and having a drink. We have uh, Barbie, who is in deep thought. We have Apple, who is uh, stuffing her face and being catered to by her sexily cooking wife, Evie. <laughs> we have Emma, who is working out. And we also have Kevin, who... <laughs> Who's Kevin? Last Kevin is talking to his favorite broke. grow fruit plant yeah, in the middle of the night retina. dressed like a superhero. So what a you can't make this shit up. So anyway, as you guys may have just noticed, the house is a little bit different. You'll notice we have a few extra things lying about. The backyard has been a little bit redone, a little bit cleaned up. I went ahead and I got the backyard stuff pack and the perfect patio stuff pack because both of them together gave me enough stuff that I wanted to use for this episode because I have something planned out for this episode. This episode, we are going to be doing stuff with Winston because Winston really interests me. I, I want to learn more about him. I want to figure out the extent of his artificial intelligence. You know, he could be C-3PO or he could be a toaster. We really have no idea. So I want to put him in a social situation. I want to have a bit of a party. I want to have people over to the house and see how he kind of interacts with other people. I'm a little bit concerned that his dancing routine is getting in the way of his cleaning routine. But, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll learn, we'll figure it out. But either way, I want to give you guys a bit of a tour to show you guys what I've gotten, because the house is quite a bit different now. We now have a hot tub. I'm excited about that. I really did want a hot tub. I think it's a really cool thing to have, but obviously $10 for a hot tub and some furniture wasn't really worth it for me until I could actually use it. We have um, this thing that we stole from the San Jose Sharks. I think it's a slip and slide. Looks exciting either way. Um, we've kind of moved all of the plants over here, all the alien plants and stuff like that. I, I decorated a little bit. We have, like, odds and ends and stuff, uh, like, bird feeders and things like that lying around. But the biggest thing is that I made a room for Winston. He now has a place up here. So, uh, he's got his own little, uh, fancy door there, you see, so people can't bother him. And I moved Disappointment up here as well. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, he's got a cool little robot room with uh, his little R2-D2 friend and uh, like some workout equipment to keep him in shape. If that works with robots, I don't really know. P place for him to sleep and recharge and stuff like that. Overall, I'm happy with the managed to uh, kind of squeeze everything in there. The house is looking great. I'm really happy with it. So it's like 730 in the morning, but the Sauce family parties at any time. So I think we're pretty good. Kevin, have you already started? Do you see what I mean? Parties at any time. So we're just going to wait for uh, Stephen Harper to walk down the road so that he doesn't know that we're hosting a party. And then we'll host one. So we are going to plan a social event. I don't really know what kind of event we want to have. I don't know if there's like outdoor events. Like would the stuff packs come with that kind of stuff? I'd like to be able to have a pool party or a backyard party, but that's not a part of the game for some reason. We can have a house party, uh, incognito, no, dinner, no, wedding, birthday, spooky. No, 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 no. Okay, I guess we'll just go with a house party. I think that's fine. And uh, I'll invite a ton of people. Hopefully 35 guests is enough. I don't really know. I don't want to push it too far because the last time we had a party, it got really buggy and just kind of froze and everybody stood around. And I haven't done anything to remedy that because I have no idea what the issue is. It could be an out-of-date mod, but I have so many mods, like hundreds of mods. I would have no idea what it could be. So, fingers crossed that this actually goes well. In reality, I'm, I'm just kind of inviting people over, so hopefully it'll be all right. Uh, we don't need an entertainer because I don't think I have any instruments. A mixologist would be good. We can get uh, Master Roshi. I think he'd be a bang-up mixologist and a caterer. Bigfoot. Bigfoot has always done a good job catering, right? Okay. 
Guys, it's a house party, and I know it's your house, so you can really dress up however you want. I'm not trying to judge, but I don't think Captain Bun Bun and Wonder Woman are, um, really appropriate. Whoa, Winston. Whoa, hold on. Winston, when did you get a body? Oh, actually, I guess technically he's just wearing clothes, right? Like, his head is still there, he's just got, like, gloves and pants and shoes and stuff on, so... Fitting in. Very clever. I really like that. Oh my god, you look so dapper. Actually, now that I think about it, I should show you guys this, because when I bought the pack, I noticed that it comes with this really weird... thing. I'll show you now. If I if I turn on the filters and I sort by... I don't know if it was Perfect Patio or Backyard, but it is, yeah, this. The Plumbot Box. And apparently it's, uh, you just put it there. Look familiar at all? Hmm? Maybe? Just a little bit? I can't, I can't believe it. The Plumbot Box. Carbon dating on this boom box indicates it comes from hundreds of years into the future. Applying electrical current to its circuitry causes the parts to amplify local radio waves and output their signal with crystal clarity. Some sims speculate that this may be the head of an advanced cyborg that can't be possible. Right? Very, very weird. Such a coincidence. So apparently it's a boombox. It makes music. But, uh, I don't know, man. I think, I think I'll keep one. You know what? Why don't we put one up in Winston's room? Is it a little twisted that he might have, like, the head of a fellow, uh, you know, plumbot just sitting above his bed? Very weird. Also, he's kind of got a, a floating demon gnome, but to each their own. Somebody's trying out our slip and slide. Oh, cool. Candy, show me what it's like. I have no idea. I've never used it before. It looks freaking awesome, though. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Sassy. Well, then. That was awesome. Okay, can we do that? Barbie, I think you would be a good person to try this. Let's, um... Watch sliders or slide. Oh, we can slide with people? Okay, let's slide with Candy. What the hell is Johnny Bravo wearing? Is he here? Yeah, there he is. Johnny Bravo is, uh, he knows how to show up to a party. <laughs> what, are you, what are you wearing? Oh my God, you're like old pimp's apprentice. Damn, yeah, speak of the devil. Okay, cool. That's, that's pretty sweet. Oh, here we go. You ready to go, Barbie? Did you change? No? Oh, there we go. Okay, took a minute. That's cool. Oh, I kind of like this. All right, Barbie, show us your moves. Me and uh, Candy are watching. Whoa! Damn! You got some moves on this. This is cool. I thought you would only just slide down and it'd be boring. Do, do that again. I want to see that again. Something else. Maybe no spins. A little bit of a front flip or something like that. You can really show off your butt doing this. Okay. You know what? Even if it is spins, it's still pretty eventful. Uh, Emma's over there waving at nobody. Oh, here we go. We got a bunch of people joining in now. That's awesome. This is a cool little thing. I really like this. It's, it's a nice little thing to have for a party. Holy crap. Everybody's coming out back now. Sa Why is Santa Claus wearing gloves? Santa, are you okay? Maybe he's just sick and he's being very considerate of others, but he's wearing like surgical gloves. Barbecue has uh, leveled up in working out. I guess this is a bit of a workout, eh? I thought you could add like foam to this though. I thought I remember seeing people, oh God, Evie. She, she's paraplegic, she's never, oh, okay, no, we're good. Okay, there's a line forming. Can we cancel this? I want to, uh, I want to add soap. Oh, oh geez, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're definitely married. Oh my god, can you guys not cripple yourselves, please? We have a lot of episodes to do. Yeah, there we go, add soap. Okay, so I have to make it so that nobody is on it to add a little bit of soap, because I saw in the trailer that you can have bubbles. <laughs> so Barbie's just gonna add a little bit of soap. Okay. So now what happens if we slide with people? Let's, let's add more soap. You can never have too much soap, right? Oh, that is cool. Okay, we're gonna trick slide with the whole family. I think everybody should be coming now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe trick slides are a little bit more difficult. Oh. Barbie, are you okay? Oh God, concussion. She's got whiplash and she's just permanently covered in foam. <laughs> Apple's getting it though. Cool. So do they just walk around with foam for the rest of the party? Winston, are you gonna give it a try? 
I said the whole family. I never really considered Winston a part of the family, but I guess if he wants in, then uh, he wants in. All right, Winston, show us what you got. I guess, uh, oh, oh, okay. You know what? That butt's expensive. If we need to fix that, that's on you. I love that they just stand around with a stupid look on their face, covered in foam, absolutely no care in the world. Oh, God, that is so funny. I need to keep people away from the well. I should have put a fence around the well before this party. I do not want any more wishes to happen, but either way, that was very cool. Okay, let's try the hot tub, because I'm curious if you guys get in the hot tub, will you be able to bring soap with you, skinny dip? No. Okay, we're gonna get in. So if you get in with your suds, the suds just stay with you. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Most of the party seems to be going on in here. People are not interested at all in the outdoor activities, which is disappointing. But uh, I guess everybody's kind of boogieing down, having a good time. Oh, look, Sexy Linda showed up. That's good. I also changed the other house, actually. I was gonna say the other room. I put it like a dance floor in here. So, because before we just had a rug, dance floors weren't a part of the game at the time, but now we can actually have like people party down. You got candy hitting the bar and you guys are still walking around with suds on you. What are you guys up to? Oh, I'm gonna go hit up the bush. Or, oh no. Winston, why are you doing sit-ups? You don't have a six pack. You don't even have abs. Oh, that's right. You can woohoo in a hot tub now. Try not to, you know, drown. I haven't even seen this before. This should be interesting. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Holy crap, that was a little, that was a little graphic for The Sims. <laughs> well then, The Sims have been really coming out of their shell recently with like the, um, the closet and the hot tub. <laughs> Very, oh, okay. Oh, look at that, it even makes like little water hearts. Very strange. Okay, either way, I think that's enough for the outside stuff because I wanted to focus on Winston and uh, his human activities. And so far, he's impressing me. He's been joining in on the family stuff. Um, Obama? He probably shouldn't be hanging out around people. I was talking about Winston and his like human interactions. Maybe you shouldn't be sick at a party with your shirt off. I was gonna say who invited Tony the Tiger, but then I realized, oh no, that's just Obama. Now that I think about it, Tony the Tiger is a character that I should definitely introduce to this neighborhood. <laughs> Actually, he would probably fit in. Let's be honest, we have Mr. Clean, we got Santa Claus, we got Smurfette, we got Pac-Man, we got Johnny Bravo. If we really did see Tony the Tiger here, would anybody be surprised? Oh, no, Winston is dance battling and he's uncomfortable because of all the filthy surroundings. Who are you dance battling against? There's nobody here. Are you dance battling against uh, one of the Honey Pop girls? Oh no, damn. You're dance battling against? <laughs> against Pac-Man? <laughs> oh my God, okay. You gotta represent the Sauce family here, Winston. Do it, bury him. He's got a level three dancing. He's evolving, he's learning quickly. And uh, <laughs> Pac-Man's got some interesting moves. Where where do the arms come from? Pac-Man, you have stubby little black arms. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Emma's learned the following traits about sexy Linda. She's a bro. Didn't expect that. And now he's cleaning. All right, way to go, Winston. Yeah, he was upset at the filth. And once he was done destroying Pac-Man in a dance battle, then uh, he's gonna clean up after everybody. Good stuff. All right, I'm calling it right now, Bigfoot Best Caterer 2016. Look at this, he's got a cake, he's got perfect food all over the place. He looks dapper as anything. So fantastic. Why is there a birthday cake here though? That's what that is, right? White cake made by Bigfoot, it's got candles. I don't want anybody, no, nobody blows out the candles, that would be bad. Uh, can somebody eat, ooh, I was gonna say, can somebody eat that to save people? What are you guys up to? There's been a lot of comments about you two in the last episode. Looks like that's all to harvest right now. What's all to harvest right now? Are you are you harvesting sexy Linda? Is that that's a big harvest? Oh no, he harvested his garbage fruit. Right? Do you have garbage fruit in your inventory? Yeah, look at that. Trash fruit, a foul-smelling fruit inexplicably composed entirely of refuse. Okay, well we need to eat it now because you grew it. Just gonna eat garbage in front of sexy Linda. It's a little tiny garbage bag. <laughs> Do you like it, Tommy? He seems happy. Barbie, this is what happens when you go down the slip and slide after Obama. Now you're Tony the Tiger. Do you have a striped ass? Yeah, you got a striped ass. Okay, that's not good. 
and the house is breaking. Can Winston fix that, I wonder? Winston, can you repair this for me? Let's just replace it, screw it. We'll get him to clean up, we're having a party. Uh, again, I wanted, wait, what? Why does he have a hip hop cardboard dance floor in his inventory? Did you steal cardboard and make a dance floor because you like dancing? Huh, it's interesting. So we should probably get Barbie some medicine, right? I feel like that's probably important. I don't know if things are contagious in The Sims. Like, it looks like they're contagious because she clearly has what, Ob what Obama has. Can you guys, well, you know what? I guess you can't technically catch it, can you? She's also, wait, wait, wait. Are you very flirty or, oh, very playful? Okay, wasn't sure there for a second. I don't know how I feel about this relationship. So many comments last episode about those two hooking up or getting married or having robot babies or something. You guys have a lot of very weird interactions. Winston has discovered the barbecue is an alien. The disguise seemed perfect, except for one, well, alien detail. Yeah, okay. Winston, you're literally a robot from the future. Let's try not to get too judgmental. But yeah, so many of you guys wanted to see them hook up and get together. Oh, jeez, guys, you're making this really difficult on me here. But like I said, I I don't know, like, I, I need to know more about Winston because that's like having a relationship with a toaster. I mean, yes, it looks like he's very um, interested in Barbie's advances. Maybe Barbie's making a lot of advances. We can't really tell if he's into it or not, but like he could be artificial intelligence. We need to give him a Turing test. We don't really know. That's kind of the purpose of this episode, I guess. I want to learn more about him because you can't really have a relationship with the toaster. Kiyu, what's wrong? Actually, Kiyu, you might be helpful here. If you could put down the sandwiches, you're technically a love fairy, even though I call you a sex fairy all the time. Can you tell if this is love or not? Could you come over here and just judge for me? Maybe? No? Come on, man, you're supposed to have my back. Oh, God. Bob Ross has shit himself. That's not good. Look at those pants. <laughs> okay, that's not a good sign. I mean, the party's been going for a little while and it kind of stinks in here. Can we, yeah, Winston, can you clean up a little bit? Because we, I don't want to end the party just yet. I'm having a lot of fun, but if everybody just kind of relieves themselves all over the place, then things are going to be difficult. So you can mop up the Bob Ross pee and, uh, and you can pick up all of this stuff, right? Good robot. I think Kevin has been sitting out here the entire time. I haven't seen him at all this party. He's been sitting out here waiting for somebody else to come slide with him. Look at, look at his face. Kevin, do you want somebody to come slide with you, man? You only needed to ask. Here, where's Emma? Emma, Emma is sick. She's headachy. She's, she's feverish. What the hell? God, okay, no. I'm quarantining that slide, Kevin. Get away from it. Obama has tainted it. No, I told him to get in the hot tub and Obama got in first. <laughs> don't, don't. Yeah, tell him to get out. You're, you're dirty, you get out of here. You, you look like you're better, but that's not how it works. You always have it for days later, okay? He's gone. Get out of here, Mr. Bean. You're not welcome in my hot tub. This is my hot tub. Oh, oh, did, what? Okay, screw clothes, you know what? It's my party, I'll do what I want. Oh, this is awkward. Uh, yeah, can you not get in there, Madison? Oh, no, that's Jean Grey. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's, whoa. Kevin's not wearing any pants, and he's just relaxing. Yeah, if you guys want to watch, you can. It's a little, little awkward. Oh, God, you're sick now, too? God, everybody's got the Obama pox. I feel so bad because Winston is doing his absolute best to keep up with the mess. Like, look at him go. He is a one-man cleaning, well, ro one robot cleaning machine. He's all over this but there's just more mess than he can handle. Maybe, I think I wanna end the party and just do like one little thing with Winston. Would that make sense? Maybe just like, just interact with him a little bit on a one-on-one -on -one basis. All right, you freeloaders, everybody get the hell out. You guys are just sullying my house. You know what, Santa? You were the smart one. You knew that this was gonna happen. You knew the Obama pox were gonna show up, wore gloves, he's the only guy going home healthy. Leave it to Santa to always know everything. All right, Tupac, party's over. That was your last drink, get the hell out. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do you have a fever? You're a robot. I was waiting for him to clean everything else up before we go about our day. Why are you still here? The party's over, Obama. Every, everybody else is gone. Literally everybody else is gone. Obama's still here. Yeah, go home, go to bed, get some rest. Stop getting my robot sick. Very interesting. Okay, so he's embarrassed and he's feverish. That's two good signs of artificial intelligence. You know, he might have gotten a, a virus, so to say. Ha ha ha, total pun. 
But uh, either way, he's running a little hot. You know what? It might not be a fever. He might just be overworked. That That's a possibility. He may just be doing too much cleaning. It's too many people. It's a very hot place. You know, machines kind of uh, overheat. Yeah. Barbie, are you sure. doing the work for him? Uh -huh. You like him, don't you? See, the main thing for me is that it's always Barbie making the advances, right? Yeah, you see, she's always the one who's making the bold pickup lines and the flirting and so on and so forth. But uh, Winston has never been one to make an advance, even though he uh, he seems to have his flirty routine engaged. Uh, that that was, oh, gee, oh, wow. That's the inside. Barbie, you know what? I want to see what's in your head right now. What's going on in that head of yours? Are you thinking about Winston or are you just thinking about disgusting teeth and tongues? Has anybody seen Kevin in a while? I'm always concerned. I'm always wondering, okay, no, he's good. Yeah, he's good. All right. I always just got to keep an eye on him. He's the one guy that I'm always afraid is going to burn himself to death. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, you know, he's got to relieve some coolant every now and then. Makes sense, right? I still don't know how I feel. And you know what? I can't even really think of anything else to test him with this episode. We have learned a lot. Like that he's not perfect and that he does seem to have some kind of emotions and he does exhibit a lot of sim traits. But either way, I think that's going to be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. You'll have to let me know what you think because I do want to do some more things with Winston, but I'm not really sure what yet. Maybe I'll look up some Turing tests and see what exactly I would have to do to prove whether or not he has artificial intelligence. And I'm so happy that my game isn't bugged. We actually managed to throw a party and it didn't freeze or explode. Nothing went wrong except for, you know, the obvious obvious case of uh, everybody getting the Obama pox, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get over that and we'll be back next week better than ever. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Good. You're gonna go. You're gonna break that. That's gonna fall. We broke the shit out of all the bridge below us. Oh, come on. <laughs> it was so, it was so close. <laughs> Oh my god, getting that close is gonna give me a mental breakdown. Did you see that?